Hi guys, in this video, uh, we will try to take up some systems to check for its memory and causality. Let us take up first take first system which is y of t is equal to g of t into x of t. First we will check for its memory and then we will go for causality. Okay. Now, how uh, when do we call a system has memory? We call, we call that system has memory when it's output y of t depends upon past or future value of the input x of t right i repeat again when its output y of t depends on past or future value of input x of t then the system is called as it has memory uh, when when does we call that system has no memory system has no memory if its output y of t at every value of at every instant of time depends upon input x of t at same value of t of the output ok so in this case uh, you have to concentrate on input and output part of the system just ignore if you have any other coefficients ok now if i put t is equal to 0 y of 0 is equal to x of 0 right so output depends upon input if i put t is equal to 10 y of 10 is equal to g of 10 into x of 10 now again output depends upon the input value present input value right so whatever the value of t we put present output depends upon present input value if the present output of if the present output of a system depends upon present input value then what do we say the system has no memory right so this system it has it has no memory why because its present output output depends upon depends upon present input present input okay input now for the definition for causality uh, let me define for non causal if the present output depends upon future input value then the system is called as non causal right now y of t is equal to g of t into x of t does this depends upon future value no right here this big current output depends upon current input value I mean, present in, present output depends upon present input value no so therefore the system is causal right so it is causal system why because because its present output depends on depends on present present input fine we take up one more example y of t equal to t times x of t solution first we'll check for memory and then we'll check for causality Now for memory y of t equal to t times x of t. Now whatever the value of t you put across the output, same value of t will come across the input, right? So present output depends upon present input. So if, if the present output of the system depends upon present input value, then we call it as system has name no memory, no? So it it's it has it has no memory. Why? Because because present input present output depends on depends on present input present okay 
what about causal t y of t equal to t times x of t the system is said to be causal if its present output y of t depends on past and or present input value here the present output depends upon present input value therefore system is causal right so it is causal why because because present output depends on depends on present input present input I take up one more problem so y of t equal to e power x of t solution memory and causal now what about memory e power x of t if t is equal to 0 y of 0 is equal to x of 0 right if t is equal to 10 y of 10 equal to x of 10 so whatever the value of t you put the same value of t goes to output also so present output depends upon present input value so so what is the conclusion so it has no memory so it has it has no memory why because because present output depends on depends on present input okay so what about the causal y of t equal to e power x of t so present output depends upon present input value so it is it is causal why because because present output depends upon present input value okay we'll take up one more y of t equal to g of t plus x of t solution so first we'll check for memory and then causal so what's your guess y of t equal to g of t plus x of t what are the value of t i put same t follows here right present output depends upon present input value so it is it has no memory okay so why because present output depends upon present input value so what about causality of the system is it causal or non-causal yes y of t equal to x of t so present output depends upon present input value so it is it is causal okay now we take up one more y of n is equal to x of x of 3n so solution first we'll check for memory then we'll check for causal okay what's your guess does the output follows the input no right if i put n if i put n equal to 10 what happens to input it is 30 3 times 10 is 30 so the output depends upon future input value if the present output depends upon future input value or the present output depends upon past input value then we call it as system has memory so in this case present output depends upon future input value therefore it has it has memory so why because because present output depends on depends on future future input value okay what about causality so it is non causal right why because what is the definition of non causal if the present output depends upon future input value then the system is non causal no so it is it is non causal why because because present output depends on depends on future future input well okay so we'll take up one more y of t is equal to x of t by 2 ok 
solution we check for memory first and then causal so what is your case so y of t is equal to x of t by 2 if i put t is equal to 10 y of 10 is equal to x of 5 right so what do you mean by that present output depends upon past input value correct now so how did i say that if this is 0 this is input x of t and if this is output y of t it is independent variable t some random input and output if i put y of t as 10 so this is my present output now 10 y of 10 depends upon what x of 5 and where is x of 5 5 is here okay now with respect to this dashed line everything left hand side is actually past and everything to the right hand side is future future now present output depends upon past input value therefore therefore it has memory why because because present output present output depends on depends on past input value so what about causality so y of t is equal to x of t by 2 does this bit uh, depends upon future yes right how because if i put t is equal to minus 10 what is y of minus 10 y of minus 10 is x of minus 5 okay now present output depends upon future no correct no how, how is it so if i just put uh, this is x of t and this is y of t this is t t y of minus 10 is here y of minus 10 is equal to x of minus 5 sorry y of minus 10 is here and this is equal to x of minus 5 so now this is my reference point current output minus 10 is the current output now the current output depends upon this is future and this is past no? with respect to dashed line so present output y of minus 10 is equal to future input x of minus 5 therefore system is system is system is non causal okay so we'll take up one more y of t is equal to x of t square so solution memory and causal so what is your guess if i put y of 10 what is x x of 100 right so present output depends upon Feature input value so system has system has memory system has memory right and what about causality if i put minus 2 t is equal to minus 2 what happens y of minus 2 is equal to x of 4 right so present output present output so y of minus 2 is here is equal to x of 4 4 is here so present output present output depends upon future input value so system is non causal okay i'll take one last problem y of t is equal to x of minus t so solution let me check for memory and then causal okay. so what is your guess so depending upon what value of t i give if i give t is t positive uh, this becomes negative if i give t negative this becomes positive so whatever it is present output for some values of t present output depends upon past input value and for some values of t present output depends upon future input value so therefore the system has the system has memory right let me give you an example if 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 t is equal to 2 
what is y of 2? y of 2 is x of minus 2, right? Now, like, uh, present output depends upon past input value, right? If I give t is equal to minus 2, what is y of minus 2? y of minus 2 is x of 2. Now, present output depends upon future input value, right? So, in both the cases, uh, satisfies the definition of memory, so it has memory, okay? What about causal t? It is non causal, right? Why? So, from the definition of memory, see here y of minus 2 is present output depends upon x of 2, future input value. So therefore, it has memory. Why? Because present output depends upon future input value. Now, I will give you some exercise, I mean practice problems. You just try for its memory and causal t. The first one y of t is equal to n square x of n minus 1 second system y of t is equal to mod of x of t and third one y of n is equal to cos of x of n fourth one y of t is equal to sin of 60 into x of t and fifth one y of t is equal to x of t minus t naught 